In our journey through life, the relationships we nurture shape our experiences, values and well-being. Whether with family, friends or romantic partners, these connections play a pivotal role in our happiness and personal growth. However, Stoicism, a philosophy renowned for its emphasis on reason, virtue and inner peace, offers a unique perspective on relationships. It teaches us to prioritize our mental clarity and moral integrity above all else, challenging us to recognize when a relationship may no longer serve our best interests, despite the emotional attachments involved. Exploring the intersection of Stoicism and interpersonal dynamics unveils a set of principles that guide us in evaluating the health and sustainability of our relationships. This exploration delves into ten crucial signs derived from Stoic philosophy that indicate when it might be time to consider ending a relationship, even if it means parting ways with those closest to us. From consistent negativity to fundamental incompatibilities in values, each sign serves as a beacon, guiding us toward relationships that promote our well-being and align with our pursuit of virtue. 1. Constant Negativity Constant negativity in a relationship can be incredibly draining. When someone in your life is perpetually negative, it means they frequently complain, criticize or focus on the worst aspects of every situation. This can create a toxic environment where you feel weighed down by their pessimism. Over time, this constant exposure to negativity can affect your own outlook, making it harder to stay positive and focused on your goals. Being around someone who is always negative can also disrupt your peace of mind. According to Stoic philosophy, maintaining inner tranquility is crucial for personal well-being. Stoics believe in focusing on what we can control and letting go of what we cannot. However, when you are surrounded by negativity, it can become challenging to keep this perspective. The negative person's constant complaints and criticisms can make you feel anxious, stressed or even depressed. Constant negativity can undermine your relationships with others. If you are frequently exposed to negative talk, you might start to adopt similar patterns of thinking and behavior. This can lead to a ripple effect where negativity spreads to other areas of your life, affecting your interactions with other friends, family members or colleagues. It's important to surround yourself with people who uplift and support you, rather than those who bring you down. In the spirit of Stoicism, it's vital to evaluate the impact of constant negativity on your life. If someone's perpetual pessimism is affecting your mental and emotional health, it may be time to consider distancing yourself from them. This doesn't mean you have to cut them off completely, but setting boundaries and limiting your exposure to their negativity can help protect your own well-being. Remember, your peace of mind and personal growth are paramount, and sometimes that means making difficult choices about the relationships you maintain. 2. Lack of respect Respect is a fundamental aspect of any healthy relationship. It means acknowledging and valuing each other's feelings, thoughts and boundaries. When respect is absent, it can lead to a variety of issues that undermine the foundation of the relationship. Lack of respect might manifest as dismissive behavior, frequent interruptions, belittling comments or ignoring your opinions and needs. In a Stoic perspective, mutual respect is crucial because it aligns with the virtues of wisdom, justice and self-control. When someone consistently disrespects you, it not only hurts your self-esteem, but also creates an imbalance where one person's needs and desires are prioritized over the others. This can lead to feelings of resentment, frustration and even anger, which disturb your inner peace. Disrespect can also erode trust and safety in a relationship. If you feel that your thoughts and feelings are not valued, you might start to withdraw and communicate less openly. 
Over time, this lack of communication can create a divide between you and the other person, making it harder to resolve conflicts or share meaningful experiences. For a relationship to thrive, both parties need to feel heard, valued and respected. Enduring disrespect can have long-term effects on your mental and emotional health. Constantly being put down or dismissed can lead to feelings of worthlessness and self-doubt. According to Stoicism, it's important to surround yourself with people who contribute positively to your life and support your growth. If someone's disrespectful behavior is causing you harm, it may be necessary to reconsider their place in your life. In the context of family or close friends, addressing disrespect can be particularly challenging. However, it's essential to establish and maintain boundaries to protect your well-being. Having an honest conversation about how their behavior affects you can sometimes lead to positive change. If the disrespect continues despite your efforts, it may be time to distance yourself or limit your interactions with that person. 3. Manipulation and Control Manipulation and control in a relationship can severely undermine your autonomy and self-worth. Manipulation involves influencing someone's thoughts and actions through deceptive, indirect or underhanded tactics. Control goes a step further, where one person seeks to dominate and dictate the other's choices, behavior and even thoughts. Both behaviors are harmful and can create a toxic environment that stifles your growth and well-being. From a Stoic perspective, personal freedom and autonomy are essential. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control, our own thoughts and actions, and to let go of what we cannot control, such as other people's behavior. When someone manipulates or controls you, they infringe upon your ability to make independent decisions and live according to your own values. This not only disrespects your autonomy, but also contradicts the stoic principle of self-governance. Manipulative behaviors can be subtle and hard to recognize at first. They might include guilt-tripping, gaslighting, or using emotional blackmail to get their way. Over time, these tactics can erode your confidence and sense of reality. You might find yourself constantly second-guessing your decisions or feeling guilty for asserting your own needs and desires. This can lead to a cycle of dependency where you feel powerless to break free from the manipulative person's influence. Control can be more overt, involving strict rules, surveillance or isolating you from friends and family. A controlling person might dictate who you can see, what you can do, or even how you should think and feel. This level of control is not only suffocating, but also damaging to your mental and emotional health. It prevents you from expressing your true self and pursuing your own goals and aspirations. In any relationship, it's crucial to have mutual respect for each other's independence and individuality. If you find yourself in a situation where manipulation and control are present, it's important to recognize these behaviors for what they are, attempts to dominate and diminish you. According to Stoicism, maintaining your inner freedom and integrity is paramount. This might mean setting firm boundaries, seeking support from others, or in some cases, ending the relationship altogether. 4. Dishonesty Dishonesty can fundamentally undermine any relationship, whether it's with family, friends, or even yourself. Trust is the bedrock of all meaningful connections, and when dishonesty enters the picture, it erodes that trust creating a foundation of uncertainty and insecurity. Dishonesty can take many forms, from outright lies and deceit to more subtle acts like withholding information or exaggerating the truth. From a stoic perspective, truthfulness and integrity are essential virtues. 
Stoics value honesty because it aligns with the principles of living in accordance with nature and reason. When someone is dishonest, they are not only misleading others, but also living in a way that is contrary to these values. For a Stoic, maintaining personal integrity is paramount, and being in a relationship with someone who is frequently dishonest can jeopardize your own commitment to these principles. Dishonesty can cause significant emotional harm. When you discover that someone has been dishonest, it can lead to feelings of betrayal, anger and sadness. You may start to question everything they've told you, wondering what else might be untrue. This constant doubt can take a toll on your mental and emotional health, creating a sense of instability and mistrust. Over time it becomes challenging to maintain a connection with someone when you cannot rely on their words and actions. Moreover, dishonesty can hinder effective communication and problem-solving in a relationship. Open and honest communication is key to resolving conflicts and understanding each other's perspectives. When dishonesty is present, it disrupts this process, making it difficult to address issues and find mutual solutions. Instead, misunderstandings and unresolved conflicts are likely to increase, further damaging the relationship. In a stoic approach to relationships, it's important to surround yourself with people who share your values of honesty and integrity. If someone's dishonesty is a recurring issue, it may be necessary to have a candid conversation about how their behavior affects you and the relationship. 5. Emotional or physical abuse Emotional or physical abuse in any relationship is never okay. Emotional abuse includes things like constant criticism, manipulation, or making you feel worthless. It can leave deep emotional scars and make you doubt yourself. Physical abuse is when someone hurts you physically, which can cause serious injuries and fear. Stoicism teaches us to protect our inner peace and well-being. Being in an abusive relationship goes against this because it causes constant fear, sadness and harm to your self-esteem. It's important to recognize that abuse, whether emotional or physical, is never your fault and you deserve to be treated with respect and kindness. Emotional abuse can make you feel trapped and isolated. The abuser might try to control you by making you doubt your own thoughts and feelings. This can lead to long-term emotional pain and make it hard for you to trust others in the future. Physical abuse is more obvious but just as damaging. It puts your safety at risk and can cause serious harm to your body. Living in fear of being hurt by someone you're supposed to trust is extremely stressful and harmful to your mental health. If you're in an abusive relationship, it's important to reach out for help. Talk to someone you trust like a friend, family member or counsellor. They can support you and help you find a way to safely leave the abusive situation. Remember, you have the right to be safe and respected in all your relationships. Ending an abusive relationship takes courage, but it's the first step towards reclaiming your happiness and well-being. Stoicism teaches us to value our own dignity and protect ourselves from harm which includes removing ourselves from abusive situations. 6. Consistent disregard for your well-being In a healthy relationship, both parties should care about each other's well-being and happiness. However, if someone consistently disregards your well-being, it's a serious issue that can harm your mental and emotional health. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of surrounding yourself with people who contribute positively to your life. When someone consistently ignores your needs, feelings or boundaries, it creates a one-sided dynamic where your well-being isn't valued. This can lead to feelings of neglect, resentment and even anxiety or depression. Consistent disregard for your well-being can manifest in various ways, 
It might be someone who constantly prioritizes their own needs and desires without considering how it affects you. They might dismiss your concerns, invalidate your feelings, or take advantage of your kindness and generosity without reciprocating. From a stoic perspective, it's essential to prioritize your own happiness and inner peace. If a relationship consistently leaves you feeling unappreciated or emotionally drained, it's important to evaluate whether it's worth continuing. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control, our own actions and reactions, and to remove ourselves from situations that cause unnecessary suffering. Addressing consistent disregard for your well-being in a relationship may involve setting clear boundaries and communicating your needs assertively. If the other person is willing to listen and make changes, it's possible to improve the relationship. However, if they continue to disregard your well-being despite your efforts, it may be necessary to reconsider the relationship's place in your life. Remember, you deserve to be in relationships where your well-being is respected and valued. Surround yourself with people who uplift and support you, and don't hesitate to prioritize your own happiness. Stoicism teaches us that maintaining our inner tranquility and virtue is essential for living a fulfilling life, which includes fostering relationships that bring out the best in us. 7. Persistent Unhappiness Feeling consistently unhappy in a relationship is a significant sign that something may be wrong. In Stoicism, maintaining inner peace and contentment is crucial for living a fulfilling life. If a relationship consistently brings you sadness, stress or dissatisfaction, it's important to address the underlying issues. Persistent unhappiness in a relationship can stem from various sources. It might be due to constant conflicts, lack of emotional connection or feeling unsupported or unappreciated. According to Stoic principles, it's essential to surround yourself with relationships that contribute positively to your well-being. Continual unhappiness can affect your mental and emotional health over time. It can lead to feelings of anxiety, frustration, or even depression. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control, our own thoughts and actions, and to let go of what we cannot control, including the behavior of others. However, if a relationship consistently brings you down and affects your inner peace, it may be necessary to reassess its impact on your life. Addressing persistent unhappiness in a relationship may involve open and honest communication with the other person. Expressing your feelings and concerns can sometimes lead to positive changes and a deeper understanding between both parties. However, if efforts to improve the relationship are unsuccessful and you continue to feel unhappy, it may be a sign that the relationship is not conducive to your well-being. Ending a relationship that causes persistent unhappiness can be a difficult decision, especially if it involves someone you care about deeply. However, Stoicism encourages us to prioritize our own happiness and virtue. It's important to recognize when a relationship is not serving your best interests and to take steps to protect your emotional and mental health. Remember, you deserve to be in relationships that bring you joy, fulfillment and peace of mind. Surround yourself with people who support and uplift you and don't hesitate to make changes that contribute positively to your overall well-being. Stoicism teaches us that our happiness and inner tranquility are within our control and it's essential to cultivate relationships that nurture these qualities. 8. Incompatibility of Values Incompatibility of values in a relationship refers to fundamental differences in beliefs, principles or priorities that can lead to ongoing conflicts and misunderstandings. In Stoicism, living in accordance with our values and principles is essential for personal growth and fulfillment. When values between two people are fundamentally mismatched, 
it can strain the relationship and make it challenging to find common ground. Values can encompass a wide range of beliefs, such as honesty, respect, loyalty, ambition or spirituality. When partners or friends have conflicting values, it can lead to disagreements on how to approach important decisions, handle conflicts or even live day-to-day -day life. This can create a sense of disconnect and frustration as each person may feel their values are not being respected or understood. From a Stoic perspective, relationships should support our pursuit of virtue and inner peace. If you find yourself constantly compromising your values or feeling conflicted about your beliefs because of the relationship, it's important to consider the long-term impact on your well-being. Stoicism encourages us to surround ourselves with relationships that align with our values and contribute positively to our personal growth. Addressing incompatibility of values in a relationship may involve honest conversations and efforts to understand each other's perspectives. However, if fundamental differences persist and lead to ongoing conflicts or dissatisfaction, it may be necessary to reassess the viability of the relationship. Stoicism teaches us to prioritize our own integrity and virtue, which includes cultivating relationships that support our ethical and moral principles. Ending a relationship due to incompatibility of values can be challenging, especially if it involves someone you care deeply about. However, maintaining authenticity and staying true to your values is crucial for personal happiness and growth. Surround yourself with relationships that encourage you to be your best self and uphold the virtues that are important to you. Stoicism reminds us that our values shape our character and influence our quality of life, making it essential to nurture relationships that reflect these beliefs. 9. Hindrance to Personal Growth a relationship that hinders your personal growth can hold you back from reaching your full potential and living a fulfilling life. In Stoicism, continuous self-improvement and striving for virtue are central principles. If a relationship consistently impedes your growth or development, it may be time to reassess its impact on your journey towards becoming the best version of yourself. There are several ways a relationship can hinder personal growth. It might involve a partner or friend who discourages your ambitions, criticizes your goals, or undermines your efforts to learn and grow. This can create a negative environment where you feel stagnant or unable to pursue your passions and interests freely. From a stoic perspective, surrounding yourself with supportive relationships is essential for cultivating virtues like courage, wisdom and resilience. If a relationship consistently discourages or belittles your aspirations, it contradicts the stoic ideal of living in accordance with nature and reason. Stoicism encourages us to prioritize our own development and well-being, which may require making difficult decisions about the relationships we maintain. Addressing a hindrance to personal growth in a relationship may involve setting boundaries and communicating your goals and aspirations clearly. It's important to express your needs and seek support from those who encourage and empower you to pursue your dreams. However, if a relationship continues to hinder your progress, despite your efforts to improve it, it may be necessary to reconsider its place in your life. Ending a relationship that impedes your personal growth can be challenging, especially if it involves someone you care deeply about. However, Stoicism teaches us to prioritize our own development and virtue. Surrounding yourself with relationships that support your aspirations and contribute positively to your growth is essential for living a fulfilling life aligned with your values and principles. Remember, you deserve to be in relationships that inspire you to be your best self and encourage you to pursue your passions and dreams. By fostering connections that nurture your personal growth and well-being, you honor the stoic principles of virtue and excellence. 10. 
loss of mutual benefit. A healthy relationship should be mutually beneficial where both parties contribute positively to each other's lives. When a relationship becomes one-sided or fails to provide mutual benefits, it can lead to imbalance and dissatisfaction for both individuals involved. From a stoic perspective, relationships should support our pursuit of virtue and contribute to our overall well-being. If a relationship no longer provides mutual benefit, it may signify a shift in priorities, values or goals that creates tension or discord. Loss of mutual benefit can manifest in various ways. It might involve one person consistently giving more than they receive, whether it's emotional support, time or effort. This imbalance can lead to feelings of resentment, frustration or neglect. Similarly, if the relationship no longer meets your needs or aligns with your values, it can create a sense of dissatisfaction and hinder personal growth. Stoicism encourages us to prioritize our own happiness and virtue. If a relationship lacks mutual benefit and fails to support your well-being, it's important to reassess its role in your life. This may involve setting boundaries, having honest conversations about expectations, or in some cases, making the difficult decision to end the relationship. Addressing a loss of mutual benefit may require open communication and a willingness to evaluate the relationship objectively. It's essential to consider whether the relationship contributes positively to your life and aligns with your long-term goals and values. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what is within our control, our own actions and decisions, and to cultivate relationships that foster personal growth and fulfillment. Ending a relationship due to a loss of mutual benefit can be challenging, especially if it involves someone you care deeply about. However, prioritizing your own well-being and happiness is essential for living a virtuous and fulfilling life. Surround yourself with relationships that uplift and support you, and don't hesitate to make choices that align with your values and contribute positively to your overall happiness. Remember, Stoicism teaches us that our relationships should enhance our lives and help us grow as individuals. By fostering connections that provide mutual benefit and align with your values, you honor the principles of virtue and excellence in your pursuit of a meaningful life. Conclusion In conclusion, Applying Stoic principles to our relationships empowers us to make thoughtful decisions that prioritize our well-being and personal growth. Each of the ten signs discussed, from constant negativity and lack of respect to emotional or physical abuse, illuminates potential pitfalls that can disrupt our pursuit of inner peace and virtue. Stoicism encourages us to cultivate relationships that align with our values, support our aspirations, and contribute positively to our lives. It teaches us to focus on what we can control, our own actions, thoughts, and choices, while accepting that we cannot change others. By recognizing when a relationship no longer serves our best interests and having the courage to address it, we honor ourselves and uphold the stoic ideals of wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. By applying the insights of Stoicism, we can navigate these decisions with clarity and purpose, ensuring that our relationships contribute positively to our journey toward a meaningful and virtuous existence.